Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. I show you in this um, tip how to create a nice little quick neat pergola shade. So I start just with a simple spline. Got a line here as a reference. Um, the spline I used to show you spline. I started with this tool first. So just simply click around you know and you finish it off and then to finalize sort of the roundness of it you can change your tool up here and you can see you get handles so the handles I can easily now adjust my spline just like that okay so I want to do this simple shape here and my next step is to use the shell tool the shell tool has just the normal default settings you know a couple of different measurements put it on the material and the layer as always. So I can use the magic wand tool for this. Okay, using the magic wand tool to do this, you just gotta be careful. You have to be in this tool here, um, construction method, detailed, because otherwise see, I can now obviously use my um, space bar. If you're not in that one, it doesn't work. So this one, and I like to use the geometry method extruded. So let's just, Space click, maybe make it 300. And there you go, we got our first blade. So have a quick look, that's the blade here. Now, again, if you have watched my tutorials before, it is a little bit, can you see, not smooth enough. And that has to do with the magic wand tool settings. So let's do this again. Changing the magic wand tool settings. So I've got best match deviation from curve less than 40. But you can also say, oh look, in this case, I want to do linear segments and I go 72. Let's see what that does. Um, another one. There we go. And, you know, it's a bit of trial and error sometimes. See, there you go. I'll delete that in a moment. But you see, this is very smooth now. So let's go back and try one more time because I think we can use less for this let's do 36 and we do this again okay yeah see that's that's pretty nice in 3d you know so yeah I quite like this thickness of this we can obviously change I do that after so I've got the first blade now and we like to add in between some smaller blades for the shade So I keep using my shell tool for this. Let's zoom in a bit and I draw my first blade. Actually, you know what? Let's draw in here to make sure they actually fit in here. There we go. Again, this is just roughly. And extrusion and we make this 20. There we go. That is, that's okay. Thickness, obviously another 20. There we go. So let's have a quick look in 3D. So we got this, oops, I gotta move it out for now so you can see this. All right, so I've got this smaller blade here. And the reason is I used a shell tool is I can rotate the shell tool in elevation or 3D. And you will see in a moment, it's also more handy than a, um, than a morph because I can easily extend this and say, oh, let's make this 40. So it gets thicker. You will see in a moment, if we have them in between, you can actually adjust them. So I'll leave it at 20 for now. Let's get back to our floor plan. Okay, before I um, multiply this along the shape blade here, I actually like to extend this smaller blade. So let's just drag this over here so I can see it better in my elevation. Open this one. And you can see that's where it is because in here I can now extend this. Okay, so it's at the moment is it's 20. You can see let's just make this um, let's make it two meters. Oops, two. There you go. Okay, that's good. So I'm going back to my floor plan, and now I can start rotating them around. So I move this in here. A little bit too big for my liking so I will resize this a little bit 
we go from there to there and it just resizes a bit perfect drag it a little bit more in the middle so it's all design phase and we rotate a little bit so it's showing more perpendicular to my arcs okay again that's just roughly all right cool so now let's distribute them along this plane it's still selected so we can go and distribute this now we will use distribute 20 let's see let's see let's see i try 20 pick a path and rotate to path so if you click once here that's the path and you got to click again just where i clicked the first time and now you can see it goes all the way here so let, let's do this and have a look yeah you gotta be very careful down here it's going back actually yeah, that's very funny see the path is woo it's going all the way back sorry getting too excited here so click there and let's have a quick look how that looks okay so that's sort of the shape you got here i can see this one is too thick i'll do that in a moment but i think the blades yeah the blades are actually not too bad what i might do is like i said before it's up to you you can take those blades see i i think they're too thick so see that's what i mean with this now so instead of 20 i can just make them five and as you can see they're much thinner now see if i go back 20 before five ah that looks much nicer okay so as we have this and we're happy with it you can then rotate the whole thing okay so now obviously we go into this elevation and we open it there you go and i like to rotate this now sometimes architect even so i selected everything it doesn't rotate anymore so i have to have a quick look yeah see it's very strange yeah that's not good so what i have to do is i gotta try to make sure they're grouped i think they are no they're not let's group them oh can't group an elevation either not very good so let's just select all this and we only have the smaller blades and i don't want my spline in there take it off it's back on yeah only got the blades I thought they grouped they're not are they <laughs> okay let's group them okay now they group and we just have to try again elevation all right open this one select everything and we try again to rotate let's have a look yeah that that works much better and while we add it let's just move this one down for now to my origin okay there you go so in 3d now you can just normal move around and like i said this blade is a bit thick so i really want to do an make that one smaller too so you just pick that from here yes i like it there you go now what we do is obviously we can do and copy them over but i like to have different blade um how you say it, distances in between so what i do is and i should have done this before actually i rotate it so i show you quickly how i deal with this i um, select this and select this and i copy all right great and now I'll do a couple of undo steps this will be exciting all right where are we uh yep let's do another undo step there we go and we go back here all right we're back to this i tell you something this is exciting so what i do is i just draw actually just move this over here because i want to use this again okay and now watch this so i paste this in 
be honest, that's not bad because I needed this back. All right, cool. So next step is because I like to do different ones, let's just select those blades. And remember I had them on five or three, let's put them on three. Great. Select again, actually suspend groups and I deselect this one, delete. Because now I want to do the same thing again, but instead of 20, I do 30. Okay, so a lot more. And that's what will happen after. So we'll have different, oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. I want to go this way. Sorry about that, I had to zoom. Right, take this and we group that. Great, so what I do is I like to have five different ones. I've got two, so I speed that up a bit and do another three. All right, let's go and go. Actually, you know what? It's easier if I move them a bit. Let's move them a bit up and this one stretch it out a bit so you will see in elevation it's easier. Ah, there we go. Suspend groups has to be off. Take all this and we rotate. Oh, there's one missing. See, this is not funny because our kid shouldn't do this. All right, but software it can happen so what i do is I zoom in and we rotate around let's take that corner so i think it's a big plate that doesn't want to rotate there you go so i just do that extra ah you know what because they're not grouped fair enough let's just do them all one by one for now no big deal you can see that can happen in your when you do a uh, redo the tutorial. Okay, look, great, awesome. So back here, that's where we are now. So in this case, let's just group the lot. Should have done this before, but you know what? It's always something you can learn. All right, great. So we start now going, uh, we take this and I'm just trying to have a look what best to line up. Yeah, the corner will line up fine. So let's just, Line up the corner. There we go. And you just obviously you um, drag this down to there. So let's have a quick look at those two. Beautiful. I didn't move it down. That's cool. Looks kind of cool too, but obviously not what I want. So I'll do that after. So we do the same with those ones. Yeah, beautiful. So, elevation. That's where we drag them down now. So, let's go down here. Great. And as you can see, I need one more blade at the end there, the big blade. So, we just go and actually suspend groups here. I can do this here, I think. We copy one. Yeah. Great. Not quite, not quite, hey? There we go. All right, cool. Yes, and as you can see, that's that's what I wanted. I want the different blades, you know, so they're not always the same blades. Okay, so it's a bit of a variety in, in there. Looking good, I just add a quick concrete floor with them. Um, the sides a bit slanted and I'll show you why. Let's just take a slab and we for now just draw this here, you know, roughly. Because I have to do this more accurate in here. And we open that one. There we go. So this one goes up to about there. And actually, you know what? Yeah, I thought so. Elevation, I can't make it smaller. I have to use this one here. All right. Great. So what I wanted to do is have those 
slabs sides a little bit slanted so what you do is you go in here and you say okay we go there and let's make it 60 it's the wrong way around so we do it adding 30 is 120 there you go see beautiful beautiful same on the other side there we go and we do 120 yeah this looks good now and maybe the thickness of the slab we can reduce that a little bit again this is design phase you know that's the way we do designing a bit i think that looks pretty good actually look at that okay and remember because we got those blades built as shells we can rotate them that's one reason and then other reason was i show you quickly again let's just uh, select all the shells and we deselect the larger blades and if you then go up here from three let's do that 50 as you can see then suddenly our blades are a lot thicker so you know gives me a lot more shade again this is just purely a uh, design phase so let's under this because thinner they look much nicer all right i hope you enjoyed this little quick coffee tip and i see you back next time bye for now